today we're going to do the cello bow hold. First of all, I want you to make a bunny rabbit shape with your right hand, which is your bow hand. Okay, so to make that, we need to bend our thumb into the middle of our hand, then our middle two fingers go over the jaw. So this is your jaw, your bendy thumb is your jaw. Then your fingers go over the top of the nail for your teeth. And then we've got your two ears at either side. So we're going to transfer this onto our bow now. So pick up your bow with your left hand and hold it, always hold on to it just to give it some support because this is quite new for some of you. We're going to open our rabbit's mouth and we're going to put our thumb just after the lapping and just before the frog's mouth. We're not going to put it inside the frog's mouth and um, we're going to try and put it in that little gap there. Then we're going to bend our thumb, we put your fingers over the top, then you have one finger down and then we'll have our pinky over the top and that's how you hold your bow. Try not to let go yet because it's quite heavy. What we're going to do is we're going to move it up a bit, the bow, and we're going to do it in the middle of our bow. So we're going to bend our thumb and there's a song to go with this to help you to remember what to do. It goes like this. Bend your thumb, then fingers over top. One finger down and the other over top. Now see if you can let go. See how that feels. Feels alright? That's good. Let's see if we can do it further down. So hold on to your bow with your left hand and we're going to move it down just before the lapping. So we're going to go bend your thumb, then fingers over top, one finger down and the other over top. Now let go with your left hand. See how that feels. Feel a bit heavier? Should be a little bit heavier. Right, this is the tricky bit and this is when we've got to hold on to our left, eh, hold our bow on with our left hand. We're going to do it right at the bottom where your hand is supposed to go. And to start with, some people hold their bow up a bit just so it gets used, you get used to and strengthening your fingers. But we're going to try it down here as well, just so you get the idea where to eventually put your, th your fingers. So you're going to bend your thumb and fingers over top, one finger down and other over top. We're going to let go and see how that feels. I bet it feels quite heavy. Right, we're going to grab hold of our bow with our left hand, shake our hand. When I clap my hand, I want you to put your bow, see if you can bend your thumb, fingers up the top, one finger down and the other top, as quickly as you can. You can do it in the middle, you can do it just before the lapping, or you can do it over just in the normal place, it's up to you. Okay, here we go, when I clap my hands. Have you got it? Compare it to my hand. See if you've got your bendy thumb. Oh, I'm bumping into things. There's my bendy thumb. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some exercises. We're going to bend, keep our thumb bent. We're going to keep our first finger on. We're going to take the other three fingers off and we're going to do some push-ups. Just with our thumb. We're going to push our thumb down. It's just a tiny little movement strengthen that thumb and just get used to being on the tip of our thumb. Don't be on the nail of our thumb, just on the tip. So this bit here, that bit there. Okay, so that's push-ups. We're now going to turn the bow over and we're going to check or bend your thumb, fingers over the top, one finger down, another on top and we're going to do some tapping. So we're going to tap our first finger we're going to tap our middle fingers and we're going to tap our pinky and we're going to do it again. Tap our first finger, tap our middle fingers and tap our pinky. Another exercise that's really useful is stir the pot. So we're going to put our bow this way this time and we're going to go round in circles pretending that we're stirring a big cauldron. Or maybe a big pot of soup and you can decide what you want to put in your soup. I'm going to put some carrots. What are you going to put in your soup? I'm also going to put in some chicken. 
have chicken soup. What are you going to put in your soup? Change direction. Also going to put some rice in my soup. What else are you going to put in your soup? We can also do the other way around. It's quite a bit of fun. Do the tip, go round one way, go round the other. Okay, very well done. Now we're going to do some windscreen wipers. So we're going to pretend it's a rainy day. We're out in the car and we're going to move our bow side to side so we get used to moving and rotating this wrist. And our fingers are strengthening. So that's car windscreen wipers. We're now going to do bus windscreen wipers. So I want you to pretend you've got another windscreen wiper here. And we're going to go out to the side and then back in again. Out to the side and back in again. You can just do it with one hand if you like. You don't have to do it with two hands. It's just I like to do it with two hands. So it makes me feel equal. Do one more. And then the last one we're going to do is light windscreen wipers. Now if you've ever seen an old Volvo car there's tiny wee windscrapers on the lights that go like this. So we're going to have our bow like this. Bow looks beautiful, they're bendy though. Fingers are all over the top. And we're going to just rotate the weight from this finger to this finger. And we're having like, it's a bit like a seesaw. Your thumb's like the bottom of the seesaw. So it's just a tiny, tiny little movement. That's the light windscreen wipers. The last one we're going to do is a fun one. It's called spiders. So I want you to pretend your hand is a spider and you're going to climb up the web all the way to the tip of the bow and then back all the way back down again. Now, I don't want to see any cheating like this because that's not spiders. Spiders is crawling up the bow. You can put your hand down here to in case you feel that it's going to slip and you want to catch it and you're going to keep you're just doing thumb finger thumb fingers like this thumb finger thumb fingers right up to the top and then once you get to the top you're going to go all the way back down again now I always use use my thumb first then drag my fingers back down thumb finger thumb finger thumb fingers quite hard work doing this one. And then once you get down to the bottom, you put your hand, put your bow on the um, rocket launch pad, and check her bendy thumb, fingers over the top, one finger down, other on top, and that is how you hold your cello bow hold. 